very cool. Underneath the surface of the water. No way! That's pretty cool. It looks like you're just slowly pulling them apart. Oh my goodness, that! Whoa. The giraffe. <laughs> What's good? Welcome back to How to Magic. Oh, 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 magic. I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you 10 amazing science magic tricks. What does a scientist do? We look up and say, I wonder what that is. Let me go find out. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. Okay, this first one is the magic disappearing beaker trick. Check it out. Watch. <gasps> Whoa. Is that in there? No. <laughs> okay, here's the secret behind this amazing science trick. So I have a little glass beaker here. I also have another yes. little glass here. And we're gonna take some oil. This is olive oil. Fill this up with some oil. And we're gonna fill the little beaker with some oil as well. Okay, watch. Take the small beaker and when we put it in the big one. All right, watch as you submerge the little beaker in the cup. Whoa. It looks like it just completely disappears into the oil. Wow. If you did this with one without writing on it, it would look like it just completely disappears into it. So this is made possible due to the refraction of light. The oil being inside both containers makes it so that the glass inside is completely invisible. It's like the floating letters. I know, it's like the letters are just floating there because you can't even see the glass. And that is how you do the magic disappearing beaker. Okay, this one is an amazing science trick using candles. Take a look. So the blue has a blue flame, the green a green flame, the red a red flame, purple purple, and so on and so forth. It's really cool. It looks so magical. This would be awesome on a birthday cake. So here's the secret behind the color flame candle. So you get a bunch of different colors here. You get two purple, two blue, two green, two yellow, two pink, and two red. Okay, so you're gonna take your candles and find a little candle hoarder so we're actually going to use a menorah. This is the only candle holder we have that is small enough to hold our color flame candles. Okay, so now that you've got all your color flame candles in your candle holder, you're gonna light them up. We'll bring the lights down here in a second so that you can see this better. Yeah, because usually at a birthday party, it's like dark. So now that we have all the candles lit, you can really see the colorful flames coming off of each one. Let's get a close up. So these work because different chemicals embedded in the wax and the wick of the candle burn different colors when they're set on fire. So the red candle burns red because of a chemical called strontium chloride. The yellow burns yellow because of barium chloride. The green flame is copper sulfate. The purple flame is caused by potassium sulfate. And the blue, which is my favorite, is copper chloride. So all these different chemicals, when burned, create a different color. So each candle is unique and different in the chemical that it contains and the color flame that it produces. These are so amazing, super cool, perfect for any birthday party, celebration, or just to have some fun with some fire and some science. Very cool. And that is the secret behind the magic color flame candles. Okay, this is a super fun science challenge. Check it out. All right, Emma, so I have a magic challenge for you. You're gonna take this green bag. We have these big, long plastic bags. They're about 10 feet long. They're called wind tubes. Here's the goal. You want to try to fill the entire bag with one breath. You think you can do it? I think you can do it. So here's what I want you to do. Grab the bag and you try and fill it all with one breath, okay? So take the deepest breath you possibly can. And blow it into the bag. Very nice. Let's see how much air you manage to get into the bag. Not bad. That's a pretty big breath. Good lung capacity. All right, Ava, hold the end of it. I'm gonna show you how to do it in one breath. You ready? There you go, you get the whole thing full in one single breath. Okay, here's the secret behind winning the challenge every single time. So the secret to this one is actually very scientific. I'll teach you how it's done right now. These wind tubes were created by Doron Gasset in 1979. He was a college student and he invented these. And they work under something called Bernoulli's Principle. So if you notice, when Ava inflated the bag, I had her hold it like this and just blow directly into it. When I inflated the bag, I held it away from my body, about 10 inches from my mouth. And when I blew into it, I blew the stream of air directly at the bag. And what it did is it actually created lower pressure. A moving stream of air, a moving column of air like that, creates a lower pressure system, and all the air around it is kind of attracted into the bag as well. So that low pressure, it kind of makes all the air around assist, and it drives more air into the bag, making it inflate all the way. There you go, nice job. Catch all that in one breath. Isn't that crazy? Good job, Emma. Blow and instantly grab the end of the bag 
you can trap all that air in the tube. It's super cool. And now what's really neat is you can use these to make stuff. Check it out. It's a giraffe. <laughs> These things are really fun. You can make a bunch of different stuff. It's a fun way to make science and outdoor fun. All you need is some rubber bands. You can make these into a bunch of different things. Or you can take it and watch it fly. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and that is how you do the magic wind tube trick. Okay, this one is an amazing science trick using the magic of your body. Take a look. All right, David, check this out. These are special pieces of paper. They're magic paper. Watch. If I take my hand, put it like this. <laughs> oh my goodness, that! You want to try? Mm -hmm. You're trying on the green one here. All right, now slowly lift your hand off. It's yellow. That <laughs> cool. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. All right, this stuff is super cool. It's called thermochromatic paper. Let me explain how it works. So it's a bunch of sheets of paper all in different colors, but they all share something in common. They're all heat sensitive, thermochromatic, meaning I can put my hand down on the paper and the heat of my hand will actually cause these pieces of paper to lose their color. You can see each one is fading to white. We take a piece and put our hand down on it. The heat of our hand causes the color in the paper to disappear. Very cool. You can use this for a lot of different magic effects just use your imagination and come up with something. But for the meantime, you can just heat up your hands and cause a really cool reaction. So you can get creative on your applications for this, different ways that you could use it. And this works really fast. If you just grab the edge of one of the thermochromatic pieces of paper and let go, you can see almost instantly it starts to fade. So the color will begin to change or disappear with the heat of your hand. And then as the paper cools, it will slowly fade back into the original color. And this cycle will repeat itself indefinitely. You can do this over and over and over again, making the color change or disappear and then magically come back. You can even print stuff on this paper from your computer. So you could make some type of flyer using this paper and somehow incorporate it into a cool trick. And that was the secret behind the magic heat sensitive paper. Okay, for this one, you're going to defy gravity and make liquid flow up. Check it out. Okay, so this looks like a really familiar science trick with two bottles. It looks like the tornado tube, but this is actually not the tornado tube. This is a brand new one called the fountain tube. Check this out. Okay, here's the setup for this amazing science trick. Okay, so this is the secret behind this. It's called a fountain connection. It's very similar to the tornado connection that we showed in our previous science video. So this is really cool. Let's open it up and you connect the two bottles using this little connection right here. And this tube creates the fountain. So this is really simple. You're just going to take a couple two liter bottles, pour out the contents, and then rinse them with water. You also want to remove the labels from the bottle so that you can see what's going on inside. Then you're going to fill one of the bottles about three quarters of the way up with water. And then add a couple drops of food coloring. You're then going to screw the connector onto the bottle. So this connection is what makes the entire thing possible. It's all self working. This connects the two bottles together using the threads inside. And these tubes create the fountain. So if you look at the tubes near where they enter the bottle connector, you'll see several small holes. When the bottle's turned over, water runs into these little holes and it's pushed upwards by the air with enough force to form the fountain at the top of the bottle. This is the same type of action that moves the water in fish tank filters and some types of coffee percolators. Hero of Alexandria circa 62 AD described a water fountain that used compressed air to lift water to a higher point than its origin. The result was a fountain that seemed to defy both logic and the laws of nature. So you're gonna insert the tube down into the first bottle, screw the connector on, just tight enough to make a seal, and screw the other bottle in place. Just like that, tighten it up. Now when we invert the bottles, it'll create the fountain. That's pretty cool. And water will just begin to spurt right out of the top of the tube, creating this really cool perpetual fountain effect. It looks like it's just working all on its own, isn't that cool? Just like that, when you turn the bottles over, it creates a magic spurting fountain. And that is how you do the magic fountain bottle. Okay, this is one of my all-time favorite science tricks. It's hydrophobic sand. Take a look. All right, Ava, so I have some magic blue sand here. You want to know what's magic about it? Yeah. You don't want to know? Or you do want to know, but you don't know what it is? Uh, I, I don't want you to tell me until I see it. Do you want to just see it? Let me show you how this sand is magic. So it's blue sand, as you can tell. Uh, it's a little bit different than regular beach sand. Now, what's special about it is this. Normal sand, if you put it in the water, it's going to sink right to the bottom. Okay, that's why all the beach sand on the beach stays on the beach and doesn't just float out into the ocean because it's heavier than the water. Now this sand is very special. Here's what's special about it. Look, I take some of it and I dump it into the water. Look. What? Look. How does it float in the world? 
right here on the top of the water, I don't know if you, the camera can see this, the sand actually floats on top of the water. So you wanna take one of your fingers and look, you can go right down in the sand and watch. If I pull my finger out, it's completely dry. So I can put my finger down in the liquid and it doesn't get wet. Isn't that crazy? You wanna try it? Isn't that crazy? So look, we can take a little bit more, fill out the rest here. And you can make like a whole layer of sand on top of the water, isn't that crazy? Yeah. Stick your finger down in and look how crazy it looks underneath the surface of the water. It looks like metal. It does, it does, it looks like liquid metal. Now watch, you can actually sink the sand yeah. if you press down, look. Pull your finger out. <laughs> Look, it went all the way to the bottom, and you can see the water beating on the outside of it. Okay, here's the explanation behind the magic floating sand. Now, the secret to this is just as amazing as the effect itself. This is called hydrophobic sand. Now, what the word hydrophobic means, if you break it down, is hydro, which means water or liquid, and then phobic, which means afraid of. So the sand is afraid of water, it repels water. So it's able to sit on the surface of the water and not break the surface tension because it's hydrophobic. So you can stick your finger down in the sand. The sand is actually repelling the water from your finger. So that's why when you pull it back out, there's no wetness. But there is a little sand on your finger. There is a little sand. The sand will stick to your finger, but the water won't because it's being repelled by the sand. Oh, look at that, we got a drop of water on top of the sand. That's rare. Can we pop it? Well, see, here's the thing. Because the sand is hydrophobic, that little bead of water will just sit. My gosh! Right on top of the sand like that, isn't that cool? So that is the hydrophobic sand. It's really amazing stuff. It's just so fun to play with. And that is how you do the magic floating sand trick. This science trick is absolutely mind-blowing. Here's the performance of what it looks like. All right, V, check this out. I have a really cool ring here. Watch what happens okay. if I just twist it between my fingers. Look. Is it getting bigger? Yeah, I do it the other way. No way! Whoa! How are you doing that? The secret behind this science trick is a lot more simple than you might think. Here's an explanation of how it's done. Alright, Veronica, may I have the ring, please? Okay, so here's the secret behind this amazing ring. It's all in how it's made. This is an optical illusion. Oh. When you twist the ring, it just automatically creates this really cool effect yeah. of it growing and getting smaller. It's really cool. You just roll it back and forth between your thumb and your forefinger, and this creates this illusion. It's really cool. And it's all possible because of the design of the ring. These shapes, as they're rotated, trick your eye into thinking that it's growing and shrinking. And that is how you do the magic growing and shrinking ring. This is an amazing science pocket trick. Check it out. So these are definitely one of the coolest thing in this video. I'm amazed by these and I know how they work. So these are little static beads. Look, it looks like they're floating inside yeah. this container. And they'll just bounce around with the static electricity in the environment around them. So the static that our bodies produce, or that's just naturally coming off of the carpet or the table, it makes these beads just jump and dance around inside this container, and they look like they're magically just floating. They will never stop moving. They're just in perpetual motion. As long as you're holding it, they will just keep moving. That one right there looks like it's just floating in midair. Okay, here's the explanation behind the static beads. So the way this works is the static electricity causes the little beads. These are made of styrofoam, I believe tiny little beads inside to float and dance around in the field of static electricity. So they'll stick to the top, the sides, the bottom, they'll jump all over the place. This is a cool little pocket trick that you can carry around with you and show people. It's very cool, very visual. It's just so fun to play with. Oh. And that is the secret behind the magic static beads. Okay, this one is the magic wire illusion. Check it out. All right, Veronica, so I have a cool science trick. This is a little metal spring. There's actually two springs and they're kind of like woven together here in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is kind of pull them apart in a magical way. Watch. It's just gonna keep going. Are you stretching it? <laughs> no, they're actually not even moving. Look. Oh. It's an illusion. They just look like they're moving apart. They do. That's why I went to pull it apart. Okay, here's the secret behind this mind-blowing trick. Okay, so the secret behind the magic wire illusion is very simple, but it's so amazing. So it comes with two springs. So you're going to take the two springs and you're just going to weave them together just like this. So now that you have them woven together, all you have to do is grab on the two sides of the spring and slowly pull outward 
and it will begin to rotate between your fingers on its own. It looks like you're just slowly pulling them apart, but they're actually not moving. As the spring rotates, it creates an optical illusion that the springs are separating, but they're actually not. It's just spinning. Really cool. Very mesmerizing. <laughs> And that is the secret behind the magic wire illusion. Okay, this is the anti-gravity fridge rover. Check it out. Take it, put it on your refrigerator. All right, so you wind it up, put it on the fridge. And watch it go. So this is super cool. You can wind this up. And as it drives, the little top spins like a Mars rover satellite. And the wheels are made out of magnets. So it sticks to the refrigerator and it can drive all over the fridge. And it automatically stops when it gets to the edge of the fridge so that it doesn't drive off. Turn it around and it'll go the other way. So the magnets allow it to defy gravity and stick to the refrigerator and drive on its side. The magic gravity defying fridge rover is available now at evanairtv.com. Go pick one up today. It's a super fun toy for the kids. And heck, I love playing with it too. It's a super fun science toy that's available right now in the Evan Era TV shop, so get one today before they sell out. Alright guys, if you liked all those fun science tricks, be sure to hit the thumbs up button on this video, share it on your Facebook or Twitter, text or email it to a friend, you know what to do. If you have a Facebook account, follow me on Facebook right here, go like the page, follow me, send me a message, let me know you're from YouTube. There's a link in the description to go like the page on Facebook. Alright guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away all the props from this video. The magic fountain tube, the disappearing beaker set, the color flame candles, the wind tubes, the heat sensor paper, the illusion ring, the static beads, and the magic wire illusion are all up for grabs in the giveaway. All you have to do to win is give the video a thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button. You can see a cool magic trick. All you do is click the thumbs up and it turns blue. And then leave a comment in the comment section below and make sure you are subscribed to this channel. So leave a comment in the comment section below. Leave as many comments as you want, unlimited comments. In fact, the more comments you leave, the better your chances of winning a science trick. Today's keyword is science. Here are the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. Send me a message on YouTube to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered that giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and leave your comments below. All right guys, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get all our notifications. Check out the shop right down there. Pick up some merch, pick up some gear, pick up some cool magic tricks. You can check out my vlog channel, that's my second channel. Check out another How To Magic video right over there. And until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, Work hard and laugh at life. Love you guys.